Well, this is on you. You haven't lost your head. And more importantly, you're free. How on earth? Well, I shouldn't cry. I'm Ricky, don't I? I was once an established smith. Look at me now. Can you believe it? Nah, I can't. Is that all you have to say? Alright. Hmm? What is it? Have you? Oh no. Don't worry. I've no intention of escape. It's safe here. I can't bear the thought of going hollow out there. Although, I must admit, not much to occupy myself. How about this? I could forge your weapons, albeit with rather minimal tools. I'll show you what may leave the best in it. Alright, modify equipment. We can talk to him some more. What does he sell? He sells magic stuff and a catalyst. Uh, he can reinforce our stuff. I think I think this NPC is mostly like magic. He kind of he's based around magic, I think, so I don't really use him a whole lot. I'm not exactly sure what the point of me being here is, but like he can do some blacksmith stuff. Though uh, I think he's just kind of magic based, so. What is it? There's nothing to talk about. We're both cursed, undead. But what's there really to moan about? Yeah. All right, I guess I've exhausted his dialogue. So, talk to him. <laughs> he's like, I didn't, I didn't say goodbye to him. So he's like, what happened? Not sure if there's really a ton of other items around here. But it's pretty interesting how in Dark Souls, you could, there's just a lot of different ways you can go. And a lot of areas are going to be way too overwhelming for most people. Early on, um, this area is kind of gimmicky anyway. This is more of like a later game area, I would say. I don't think you really have to come here until much more later on. And you also need these transient curse items to attack the ghosts here, but... I'm pretty underleveled and pretty underpowered, so I'm not even gonna worry about that. Plus, I don't wanna I don't wanna waste a transient curse at this point, because I'm gonna need them for like much later, but these stupid ghost enemies are really stupid. They do a ton of damage, they can go through walls. I'm actually not even sure where I, I think I need to run like that way. So if I can like lure these ghosts maybe like over here. They also have, like, Go-Go Gadget Extendo arms for some reason. I guess that's just the benefit of being a ghost. So we get the Firekeeper Soul. Can I get out? Oh, maybe. Yep. Okay, I was struggling, panicking a little bit. Hey, I might actually get out of here without dying. But yeah, those, those ghost enemies, super, super duper annoying. <laughs> like, they are so annoying. I think I've gotten better at slipping in to this area and getting out alive because I think the last couple of times I've come through here, I haven't really died, but most of the time it's usually just a death run. I, I pick up the Firekeeper Soul and then I get a nice slapping and then I go back to the bonfire and it's all good, so. But since I'm here, I'll probably go over to the dragon area, like the Drake area, and see if I can pick up any extra items. I don't think there's anything, like, super good over there, but I don't know. It's just... It's just interesting how you can kind of traverse out of the initial starting point and just immediately make it to, like, more so endgame areas. Like, this leads into Blight Town with the big fat, I don't know, like, I don't know what they are, like, butcher guys? They're just, like, big ol' enemies who are totally gonna beat my ass. Yeah, those, those strapping young lads over there, beautiful. So we're not going to do this. I'm not even going to take this this way into Blight Town anyway. Um, unless for some reason I've already completed Blight Town and I want to I want to go in from this way for some reason. So there might be some exceptions to the rule, but definitely just making it through Blight Town initially, I will not be taking that shortcut. But if you if you do if you are having some issues with Blight Town, that little shortcut right there might help you out a little bit. I would recommend fully experiencing Blight Town, though. Uh, Blight Town is a very interesting, fun, and unique experience. Oh man, someone got up there? Ow, come on. I always like the, like, out-of-reach messages people end up getting. I don't even know how you would get up there, but... 
I'm pretty sure if you take some of the items from this dragon, he wakes up and gets mad. He'll probably kill you. Uh, there's some other items and stuff over here. I, at this point, it's just basically like, I'm gonna die eventually. So I kind of just want to, like, pick up whatever items I can. Oh. These drakes, I, all of this is kind of like mid-end game stuff. Like, this stuff will probably kill me in, like, one or two hits. There's also, like, this whole area over here. I forgot about this area. There's actually, like, a way to get out of here. Over here. And I think it leads into, like, Dark Root Basin, question mark? Like, it's so wild just how... Just where you can go in the beginning of this game. And when I first tried playing this game, like, I don't know, eight, eight years ago or so, I was just very confused. Like, I never made it over here because I just never... I'm not even going to fucking rest at that, honestly. I never really made it out of here because I never really knew how to get to here from this area. Yeah, there's a big-ass Black Knight here. There's another item. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to turn around. Oh, there's someone resting at the bonfire. I guess I could try to fight the knight, but it's not going to be. I don't really want to get too far ahead of myself, because this is already, like, kind of a time waster. I should probably really just collect whatever items I can, die or leave, and actually, like, get to doing stuff. But I always, I always do like exploring around a little bit, doing a couple crazy, riskier runs to get some items that may or may not matter. Oh, there's a bunch of, like, armor right there. All right. I don't know if I'm going to use any of it, but... There's also a ladder over here, if I can even climb up it. All right. Thank you, hitbox. I thought I was dead there for sure. I mean, I'm kind of dead here. I guess I could homeward bone out, but it really, like... What am I going to homeward bone for? Because I don't want to die. Red tear stone ring? That doesn't help. Gorgeous view. Ooh, gorgeous view. Wow, look at this. It's pretty nice. Nice big castle. Well, I got a nice I got a nice crew down there waiting for me. Not sure what else the point of any of this is. Uh, I'm probably certainly dead. There's like no way I'm really getting out of that, so. Oh shit, I actually lived? <laughs> what? Oh no, his way he pushed me with his wing Oh come on. The wing hitbox. I was like, oh, I'm actually going to live. And then his, I got caught by his wing hitbox. Spun around and didn't expect it. Dude, that took forever. All right. I lost 69 souls, unfortunately. I'm sorry. Oh, what did I want to do? None of this right now. Firekeeper soul. A couple other souls here. This might be like a level up. A nice... Do I only have one of those, or do I have more? Whatever, that's like one level up. Oh, it's actually two. All right. One one dex, one endurance. Sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and pop down here. I, th I think I can immediately redeem this, this soul. Yep. So now we get a little bit of extra healing, and we're good to go. We're it's, it's, it's only been an hour. <laughs> It's been an hour between intro and character creation and digging around and exploring for I don't know what reason. Look, in my mind, things happen a lot faster than I think they would. I'm like, I'm just going to, like, show up. I'm going to do some exploring. It's going to take no more than, like, 32 seconds. It's going to be fine. And then, like, 40 minutes later, it's like, oh... Look, I'm just having fun exploring before I start getting my ass slapped in this game. I don't think it's gonna... I don't... I don't think I'm gonna have, like, crazy issues with it, but... I think definitely some stuff will give me issues 
Uh, anytime I get invaded, I'm almost like 95% chance I'm dead, at least. Like, minimum. Oh, come on. Am I really gonna, like, die here? Come on, I don't wanna... I don't wanna die here on the staircase up to the undead bird, damn it. It's not exactly how I want my, like... I guess it's not really a first death anymore, because I've already died. But if I can avoid dying here to some stupid garbage, then, like, why not? I also really hate, I really hate this jump over here. Like, I always try to get this uh, item over there on the bridge, but this jump is, like, just kind of annoying. There's also an NPC who shows up over there eventually. I was afraid that was going to be a little bit of an early jump, but... The jump, the jump gets you a little bit of a distance. Unfortunately, it's only a ring of sacrifice, which I will need some of those later, maybe. Uh, I feel like, I feel like using one right now, probably not the best. I really don't have a ton to lose. Maybe you swap it on if you're afraid of, like, losing something. Maybe you get invaded. Maybe you can use it if you get invaded. If you have, like, a bunch of stuff on you that you don't necessarily want to lose. Is there a message up there? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Lots of souls all over the ground. Very nice. Everyone's leaving their souls out. It feels like my, like... It feels like my left bumper is, like, not cooperating. Like, I hit, I hit left bumper, but yeah, like, sometimes he drops the shield, like, immediately. Can I get a replacement left bumper? Anyone got a replacement left bumper for me? I could really use it, I think. That That's totally gonna, like, kill me at some point. Why is my left bumper so crappy? <laughs> Come on. Come on, left bumper. Don't do this to me. Oh, speaking of another place to explore. We got this place. I also love backstabbing. Since I'm not very good at parrying, love love the backstabs. Can I jump to here from there? Oh, you can? Normally, like, this is the end of an optional section, I think. I didn't even know you could just hop over here. Yeah, there's a ladder here. What does this say? Secret? There's no secret here. There's... There ain't shit here, is there? Yeah, secret nothing. Probably come back to this a little bit later. Unless I can't figure out how to get over here. And then I guess I'll just go the back way in. Because this is probably it, but I don't know. There's like a couple different optional ways to maneuver around here. Oh, come on. I really get iframes like climbing up the wall. Who's throwing bombs at me? What a what a dick! Real this guy, this guy's throwing bombs. At, he can't even see. He can't even see me. He's just doing hail mary frag outs and almost hitting me. All right, well I guess these guys. Maybe if like, no, I guess if they're already climbing, they get some sort of iframes. I don't know. Oh come on. Is there, like, an easy way? Like, I swear you could just, like, tap the stick and swap targets if you were locked on. But I seem to I seem to be having some... Maybe it's not, like, a Dark Souls 1 mechanic. I seem to be having a couple issues. Oh, is this the bomb guy? The bomb guy actually followed me over here. I seem to be having some issues cycling my target between characters. Or enemies, I should say. Not not necessarily characters. Nothing over here? Cool. <laughs> Nothing but a wall? Cool, I had fun. I had fun finding that dead end. Alright, 
I guess I guess this was just the area, so. Nice little small optional area. Couple extra enemies to fight. Couple extra items to get. It's good stuff. I don't think it was anything like I don't think it was anything super useful. I also never checked any of the armor I got earlier. It's probably not any better, but I might as well might as well check it out. See if it's got anything. This is like a little better in some ways, but worse in others. It's lighter. My bleed resist goes down. I need my blood though. Yeah, I might use these. These might be a little bit better. These pants aren't too bad either. They have like no poise on them though. Well, those pants don't have any poise on them either, so I'll probably swap to these pants. A couple couple things. Not too bad. Shield. The shield's like heavier. It's not really. It's not really much better. It's got like one extra stability. It's not really. <laughs> it's not really gonna do it for me. We can get a nice mace to the face going again. It's like a strength weapon though, so. I can use the spear. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of spears, but I could like swap to the spear, get a little spear action. Let's try the spear. Might as well give this a go. Is that all that's in here? There's like nothing in here. A, b a bunch of objects to roll into, I guess. If you like rolling into stuff, then that's the room for you, I suppose. I think this kind of like, this kind of just tricks you into thinking you can make this jump. I don't like, I don't think under most circumstances you can make this jump. You have to be on a floor like above. Like, maybe if you're good at the game and know the timing, you can make that jump, but I don't... I've never been able to make that specific jump. Try and pull a couple of these guys away from the pack. Oh, this spear's, like, kind of nice, actually. It's got some nice reach, got some nice poking power. The spear, now featuring poking power, TM. All right, well, dude, what the fuck? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I have no clue what that summon sign was. It's probably like for an invader to come in and kill me. Sign of the Gravelord ser servant? Yeah, that can't be good. <laughs> That's that can't be good at all. That has to be like a duel. Need ghosts. Try jumping. Imminent safe zone. Very good. Praise the sun. I don't know, you probably summon this and some guy just comes in and beats your ass. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look like the best to me. I'll probably come over here and just do this area. Before I sit at the bonfire. Dude, this spear actually does like some pretty decent damage right now. 